dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening, I'm Keaton Hall. Some folks in Pikeville are taking this window of winter weather for a break from reality. The students had a day away from the books and many families had a snow day at home, but officials warned the fun should not overshadow, overshadow the serious nature of the weather. WYMT's Buddy Forbes explains. When Friday is also a snow day. A couple of us aren't from this area, so they're not used to snow. So it's just an exciting day to get out here and try out the hill. It can really take you back to your youth. Just playing in the snow, doing all the kid things we did when, when we were in the first, second grade. Students from the University of Pikeville's KaiCom and KaiCo took advantage of the heavy snowfall. Some enjoying it for the first time others getting a taste of home. I've lived in the U.S. for about 10 years now, so it's kind of nice to see snow on the ground again. All of them agreeing it makes for a nice adventure. Just kind of enjoy it, even if you just kind of stand on the porch with your jacket on and just take in the beauty of it. But the winter weather is not all fun and games. You know, it makes it really tough, uh, especially having had flooding uh, recently. You have a lot of moisture. Pike County emergency management officials say the conditions that made for a fun sliding experience during the day will have that same effect on the roadways during the night. What looks like water is probably going to be ice as the evening uh, proceeds. Saying even if the roads are clear of snow as crews battle the elements, staying home is still the safest bet. Those shoulders are if there's still snow on those shoulders, they're still going to be treacherous. To make sure you are able to enjoy tomorrow. Three, two, one. In Pikeville, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. As the temperatures drop, Jackson says some homes may be in need of emergency heat. There are four heating stations open in senior citizen centers across the county in Belfry, Shelby Valley, Kemper, and Elkhorn City. All staffed and open until 7 a.m. The snow stopped falling yesterday in Harlan County and many main roads were cleared to drive on today. As the sun has gone down, wet roads are expected to freeze back over tonight. Officials urge those that do not have to get out and drive through the night to stay home. Please say those that do not have to drive need to be prepared for black ice and slick conditions. Drive slow. That's what I always tell my children that are driving age now is driving slow is the key to it. That way you can come to a stop or you can maneuver out of the way of somebody else if you need to. Police say they did get calls last night about several cars getting stuck at high elevations, but are hopeful that higher temperatures Saturday will help dry the roads out. Road crews are still making sure roads are clear tonight. Crews are working through Thursday night and all day today, clearing snow and ice from the roads. They say there is no need to speed as it could cause you to crash, saying just take it easy and be cautious. You definitely have to slow down, but, but and you can't wait till you get on the bridge and then hit the brakes. You've got to prepare for uh, ice on bridge, for icy spots, and so you need to be going slower. And rather than hit the brakes, if you can, just slid up. Crews say roads could refreeze tonight. And say it's just better for you to stay inside. Last week in various areas of Breathitt County were impacted by flooding. The recent snowstorm caused even more challenges for these areas. Breathitt County Judge Executive Jeff Noble says before the snowfall, he received multiple calls from people unable to leave their homes due to flood damages. And because of the snow, those calls are multiplying. Noble adds that county maintenance crews are doing everything they can to address dangerous side roads. But in the meantime, he recommends for neighbors to check on one another and to lend a helping hand. You know, if you don't have to get out, don't get out. And if you can't get out and you need something, uh, you know, call me. Uh, we'll be glad to try to send somebody out. If you are snowed in and need assistance, you can contact Jeff Noble or Breathitt County Sheriff Jeff John Holland. We have their contact information on our website at WYMT.com. The Floyd County Sheriff's Office are calling and checking in with our senior citizens. This week's severe weather, however, are making these check-ins even more important. WYMT's Jordan Mullins has more on the Floyd County Sheriff's Office Coast Program and how it's helping seniors stay happy and healthy even in the ice and snow. Thursday's snowstorms hit much of Floyd County with several inches of ice, which made roads dangerous. At last count, we had uh, got out of our vehicles and physically assisted uh, 75 vehicles uh, up and down hills on 23 and 80. Along with hazardous roads, people were concerned about power outages. 
and some folks even asked for assistance with traveling to and from work. It, it's really concerning to people when they see a wet snow or hear of a wet snow, they start panicking like, oh my God, what if my power goes out? Do I have a backup? But with the help of the Foy County Sheriff's Office's Check on a Senior Today or COAST program, elderly Floyd Countyans were already being taken care of. Now they started yesterday at two o'clock, some of them calling saying, listen, I'm, I need milk. I'm afraid I'm gonna be stuck a couple days or my medicine's called in, can deputy so-and-so go pick it up? So uh, we started yesterday about two o'clock taking phone calls from our seniors who um, pretty much just tell us what they want and we do it. A year round service that comes in handy during severe weather. It's just a service that we owe to our people and that uh, we love providing it to them. And one that the seniors and the sheriff's deputies enjoy being a part of. In Floyd County, Jordan Mullins, WYMT Mountain News. Sheriff Hunt also said you can call the sheriff's office or visit its website for more information on how you can nominate someone to be a part of the COAST program. You can also find those links on our website. The road conditions are one thing, but getting that snow off of your car is another. A lot of times we get in a hurry and do not want to take the time to make sure all of that snow and ice is gone so that we can see out on the roads. EMS Director Gordon Mary shares that to keep roads safe, it's important to get each and every angle of your car cleared off. Yes, unfortunately, last year during the big snowstorm, we had an ambulance going to Columbus, Ohio. There was a tractor trailer in front of us with ice and snow on top of the trailer. It blew off. It went through the windshield, bent the A-post on the ambulance, and injured the paramedic. Mary went on to share that unless you have to do something, do not go out. You don't want to risk your lives or someone else's. Walking in a winter wonderland is how many Eastern Kentuckians spent today. In Perry County, several people were seen all over participating in fun snow related activities from snowball fights to sledding to snowman building, even snow angels. Perry County resident Anthony Goshen says he came out because the roads were safe. I don't think anybody should get out if the roads are not clear right now. But um, looking around today and driving on the roads, they do seem very safe and in great condition. Goshen says he was worried he would not see any snow, given how dry December was. And boy, what a turnaround from the month of December. Just a week ago, we were talking about severe weather, the potential for tornadoes and flooding. This week, we're looking to downtown Whitesburg, still watching the wet roads downtown. It's 15 degrees in downtown Whitesburg right now. Nine degrees, Moorhead, 12 in Somerset, and the big winner so far, it's just two degrees in Irvin, Kentucky right now. The rest of our clouds moving out of the big sandy. We're all in the teens right now and headed in some cases even lower as we head through the nighttime hours. You see a few clouds trying to work into the Cumberland Valley, but high pressure mostly keeping those out of our hair. As that high pressure though pushes east, it will introduce some changes into the forecast as soon as tomorrow. So we're in the low teens for tonight. Clear, bitterly cold. Stay inside if you don't have to go out really tonight or even tomorrow morning because we're waking up with this same cold air in the low teens. But we're back into the 40s by the afternoon ahead of our next system. Plenty of sunshine, but those clouds begin to move in late on our Saturday night. We stay above freezing, so we'll, we'll continue to see things melt as we head through the day on Saturday. On Sunday, keeping an eye on this front moving in. Could have some brief heavy rain with it, especially on these leading edges. But we're going to be well too cool for severe weather. We have to watch some of those rainfall totals, though, combining with the snow melt to create some potentially localized high water issues. But either way, we could actually finish that out as a little bit of wintry mix or snow as we fall back into the 20s and 30s overnight on Sunday. Watching, especially the Cumberland Valley right now, the models really agreeing on the potential for some higher totals there. One to two inches, nothing we can't handle, but keeping an eye on things, especially with that snow melt we have going on the southern half of the area in that one out of four marginal risk for excessive rainfall on Sunday. Once we get past that, on our Community Trust Bank extended forecast, we're in fantastic shape. A little bit cool Monday and Tuesday, but we're back into the 40s and even 50s as we finish out next week with a much, much nicer, mostly sunny theme to the forecast. And darn it, Keaton, I'm excited for that. <laughs> I like the snow, but uh, I'm welcoming some 50s. And thank you, Evan, and thank you for joining us tonight. John Lowe and Courtney Lane Brewer will have highlights and scores from across the coverage area, plus a preview of tomorrow's Kentucky game. The Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Show is coming your way right after this break.
IMT Weather, sponsored by Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. The WI.